Hi everybody, my name is Josiah, also known as Chilling Silence, on behalf of the Digibyte Foundation. And today I want to talk to you about the recent update for Bitcoin Core, uh, which is prompting the update for Digibyte to version 6.16.5. Uh, so a few hours ago, uh, we saw there was the release for Bitcoin Core uh, 0.16.3. Now, the main uh, reason for this having been put out is down here, we have a denial of service vulnerability. Um, so what, the, what this basically means is there is a denial of service vulnerability that has been uh, found that miners could potentially exploit. Uh, it originally was, uh, the bug was introduced all the way back a couple of years ago, uh, and so we, it says here, uh, it is recommended to upgrade any of the vulnerable versions to the latest as soon as possible. Uh, so they've got a little bit of a change log here, they've made a few uh, additional changes, but the, the main one is this one here, fix the crash bug with duplicate inputs within a transaction. Um, so what we can do is we can go here, uh, they've got proper, uh, where are we, the release notes. And it links here to the actual uh, code itself uh, that they've implemented. So what we can see here, fix crash bug with duplicate inputs within a transaction. Oh, I love that English. Anyway, if we scroll right the way down to the bottom here, uh, this particular comment from Pierre Rocard sums it up really quite well. So uh, there's the release notes, more in today's Optic newsletter anyway. So upgrade to Bitcoin Core. Now, this isn't limited specifically just to Bitcoin Core. Uh, but Bitcoin Core are the ones who have basically found it and they are the ones who are fixing it and we are going to be pulling that fix specifically into Digibyte, hence why uh, we're going to release a new version. So, what is the bug? The bug introduced uh, a couple of years ago in an older version and affecting all subsequent versions will cause your core wallet, Bitcoin Core, Litecoin Core, Vertcoin Core, Digibyte Core wallet to crash when attempting to validate a block containing a transaction that attempts to spend the same input twice. So that part is key. Such blocks would be invalid, and so they could only be created by miners that are willing to basically lose out on all of the funds that would uh, be otherwise awarded to them from creating such a block. Uh, in this case here, so it's 12.5 uh, Bitcoin, which is worth around about $80,000 at the moment. So now this, like I mentioned, is not just limited to Bitcoin. It will affect Bitcoin Cash, it will affect Litecoin, it will affect Digibyte, Vertcoin, Myriadcoin, everybody. Uh, the thing is, is obviously because the blocks are slower for Bitcoin, um, and they Bitcoin is, is worth a lot more, uh, and so each block as a whole is worth more for somebody to find. So the chances of such a vulnerability happening on Bitcoin are a bit slimmer compared to something like, let's say Myriad coin or Digibyte or Litecoin or Vertcoin where our blocks are faster and they're worth uh, a little bit less to the miners as a result. So basically what happens is any, uh, I suppose a malicious miner can include these particular transactions and, and craft the block in such a way that uh, when it is found, it gets sent out to people's wallets, like your, your wallet that you might be running at home, or to another mining pool, or to an exchange, and when that wallet then tries to validate it and confirm, is this transaction valid, it can't handle it, and it crashes. Basically, the wallet just falls over. So there's no loss of funds anywhere at all for people who are affected by this if their wallet does crash. Um, it's It's basically just a real nuisance that's that's the main part to it uh, especially if you are a mining pool another mining pool crafts such a bug uh, sorry such a block um, and your mining pool then tries to validate it you would then crash now that's obviously going to be bad because then you can't keep mining same goes for exchanges they're going to obviously want to upgrade so they can keep online in the event that their wallet tries to validate such a a block so uh, it's not life-threatening or anything. There's not going to be any loss of your funds, like I mentioned. Uh, yes, you should upgrade as soon as you can. No, this is not a hard fork in any way. If you want to stay on an older version, that's totally fine. It's not going to immediately cause any problems for you or anything along those lines. But you obviously want to make sure that in the event that there is a malicious miner who does craft such a block on Digibyte, that you're covered and that your wallet doesn't crash. So I hope this video has been informative. I hope you've learned a little bit about uh, why we are about to release version 6.16.5, which is uh, being worked on as I speak right now. Uh, we should see that'll probably be posted up on GitHub 
by the time this video is released. So check in on GitHub, I'll include some links down in the description below as well for you to make sure that you are running the latest on your PC. If you are running Android, iOS or other third party wallets, there's nothing you need to do and you're completely safe. So sit back, relax, enjoy and uh, we'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks.